You might have heard of Trevor Henderson's. It's Trevor Henderson and the creatures that he draws, such as Siren Head, Bridgeworm, Cartoon Cat, Cruncher of Creature, Long Course. It goes on. But there's only a certain amount of these that are ported to Gmod. And those are Big Charlie, Bonesworth, Bridgeworm, Cartoon Cat, Chicken Ghost, Country Road Creature, Long Course, and Siren Head. Now, let's take a look at. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that first. I don't live for them. I'm gonna let that music go anyway, real quick. Alright, now that the music's over. I mean, well, start Cartoon Cat has a certain soundtrack when he spawns. So everyone around him knows he spawns. Or when you're just walking around, you hear it. Yeah, it's gonna be creepy. I'm only making this at 5 a.m. I should get to sleep. But do I want sleep? No. I woke up at like 3 a.m. Because I wake up at these weird times. But anyways, uh, here's Cartoon Cat. That's cartoon cap. I guess I'm using Nico's clay model. So I'm just gonna put the body over here so it doesn't get in the way. So that's the soundtrack when he spawns. He will walk around, I guess, but kind of. But when trying to kill a player, he will make this T pose. Pose. And slap you basically across the map, which gives you a little boost. And a little hope as well. But all you can hear is the faint music. But when he's T posing, well he his T pose and he will, his arms will wiggle like a cartoon. After I, I forgot the cartoon that cartoon cat was from. Uh, all right. Oh yeah. So cartoon cat has like a finishing move or fatality. I forgot what it's called still. But basically, he'll just grab you and eat your head and then let you go. But then your body despawns. Basically, basically all of them have it. I don't know about long course though. All of them have it except for Big Charlie. Big Charlie just stomps on you. Stomp. So now let's just see how NPCs react to. Well, yeah. Let's just see what happens, I guess. not how you're supposed to play the game. But the facility of your shooting will happen when it gets you, you just stop moving. So cartoons... So cartoon cat spawns from about... 
5,000 health. She can take that down if you want. I'm pretty sure you can. So it's going to be difficult to get away from Cartoon Cat. Let's see how a vehicle is short. Of some sort. Okay, moving on to Bonesworth. Bonesworth is a skeleton that has no legs. So he moves by, he moves by walking on his hands. So he has some pretty long hands. Has no torso. And that's why he has no legs. He doesn't crawl. He just walks. On his legs. As you can see, he has a he has two skulls, one's slightly open, the other one just closed. This one also has a finishing or fatality attack. Where he also eats her head. Basically they all have that, so I'm not gonna tell you I'm just gonna tell you the ones that have it different or don't have it. So there's no soundtrack. I mean there is bones. I guess. Yeah, you can hear faint bones. He is fast, but he does have a cooldown attack, which gives you a bit of a bit of time to get away. But he'll catch up eventually. He spawns with about six thousand health. And basically, they won't stop until they get their prey. Which, as of right now, I am their prey. Oh, he just ate my head. Yep, that, that's me. But he spawned, so at least it's not that much lag. Yeah, and yes, I'm getting like 50 and 60 frame because I have frames because I have Stone Fox on. I only have it on for the set of this mood. So now let's see how Bonesworth will NPCs will react to Bonesworth. And why is his name Bonesworth? I don't really know. I mean, he's bones. He's made out of bones. Yeah, sure, I'll spawn the lead. Only three. Only teams of three. Four teams. But groups of three. Now I want to put more players on so he doesn't kill me. Pathfinding's not really a good thing. Because they will get stuck on trees, houses, basically anything. As long as it's an object. Metropolis or Carbine Soldier, forgot which one it is. I know they say area not secure or something. I actually didn't play Half Life, I only watched videos of it. Have you, you all know how this is gonna play out. No need to play the wet rest. Bonesworth will, be, Bonesworth will become victorious and I'll just start the new one. Okay, Bridgeworm, the one that... Th okay, so Bridgeworm... Uh, this face right here... Like, they don't want to get too close. I could get really close. You see, like, this face? That's a false face. Its real face is hidden. That's its real face. It's creepy. Well, 
that one also, yeah. I, does it just eat you entirely? All in your head. So it's extremely fast, so you need to be on the move constantly. Extremely hostile as well. Basically, if there's any ob so if you see any objects, just get in front of it. And it gives you boost as well. But also insane amount of damage. Hi it hides well it's bridge worm, so of course it's like it looks like a worm. Hides under the bridge. This is its false face, the face under here is its actual real face. What's over here? Alright. Now, just by this, it doesn't look harmless. Some people might even say cute. But a second, uh, you see its actual face, um, no. Never again. Don't come near me anymore. But. He spawns with about where's his where's his hitbox? He spawns with about two thousand five hundred health. So I guess that makes up for the speed and damage, which, in my opinion, really doesn't. No, yeah, I shall spawn the elite. to die. Alright, now I just need to put another player it's on so it won't go after me. For walking on only for walking on like a hand with just two hands is pretty fast. Now this is just a teenager in the lore. This is Bridgeworm's just a teenager. So, yeah, the adult form of Bridgeworm is gonna be more big. Which he's big enough. I guess more horrifying as well. Country Road Creature. Uh. Well, Country Road Creature can climb, has a humanoid face, humanoid skeletor. Skeleton. You can see the skeleton. I mean, it doesn't look that humanoid. Apart from the face, we can see the skeleton. It's fast, it can climb walls. It makes this weird gurgling sound. I'll leave here it. Oh now you don't make it. Now its neck is just uh it's just that. That's that's his neck. Either it's snapped and he's still alive, or he just likes that. Now there's a bet. No, basically, someone made a video explaining all these creatures better than I could ever do it. Like Big Charlie, Bridgeworm, Cartoon Cat, Country Road Creature, Long Course, and Siren Head. Those are the ones you made a video on. Which I recommend if you want to know more about these creatures. I'll leave the video inside the description and also also pack the selection for these creatures. So if you want to experience these, this horror yourself, you can. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, he's fast even when he's docile. Yeah, he can climb, so objects don't really help. I don't know if this one has a... Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I... But, oh! Fast. It's fast and can't climb. Where did it go? Also right there. 
the end of the video, he thinks it's a makeshift. It's a shifter, shape shift, shape shifter. That thing. Yeah. Stop. No. Can he jump? No, he can only climb. So I'm just gonna get away from any part, he can, any building or anything he can climb in general. Okay, guess he doesn't want me anymore. So that's a that's a country road creature chasing after somebody. Now, basically, if you want to get away from any of these guys, you gotta spawn a vehicle of some sort or just turn the speed up. Yeah, here. So now, uh, hold on. You know, players and disable thinking. Oh, I disabled that. Never mind, I didn't. Country to creature. And then some NPCs. To see who. You know, how they react and all that. Which we all know the path by in the path. The pathfinding isn't the best. Constantly get stuck on things, anything, and they even bodies. I'm at least a country road creature can climb. Siren head, siren head. You get on the bridge, he can't get you. That's that's it. You you just stay there in your entire life. Or you know, like there's siren head, you just go over there. He's just gonna be like. I'm just gonna try to get at you, but he's just gonna be stuck here. Counts on bumping his chest right there. But now let's just see how NPCs react to the country of creature. That's not scary. It's not scary when you're not getting chased. It's just like that. Wait, gotta fix the camera. Sorry. Yeah, this just gives you health for some suit. To protect you from damage. I forgot which add-on was that. And the map that I'm using is GM York. Oh. Okay. Survive or not? He kind of blends in. That's great. All right, so that's country real creature. He spawns with a bow. Stop moving. Wait, did I? Oh, I turned on that. I mean, turned off. He spawns for about 800 health. No, 8,000, not 800. Alright, chicken goose. The one that looks like a chicken, I guess. Now, if you see his hands, you see blood, which indicates he's hostile not friendly he will kill you but when even he will like make this weird animation like he'll go back and forth just like some dancer or something now he looks like a chicken and the ghost i guess that's how he got his name now when he i'm, I'm just gonna yeah, he will walk around. He spots with about 10,000 health. 10,000. But when he sees me, he will let out this screech. Just the horrible screech. And nothing else. But you just know he's behind you, waiting to get you. No matter how far you try to get, he will catch up to you. I guess corners are the best thing, but not always. Now, all these creatures are f extremely fast. 
Well, you could get away, but I have the realistic mod, so it kind of made me slower. I could change it, so you don't think I'm just saying that. Is it server? Or is it advanced? Yeah, look, it's this, but I keep it at that. I keep it at this. know for that auto save I, I don't know auto save time it doesn't auto save I don't think it does crouch speed I mean I could mess with these and I'll be f a fast boy but it takes but then it's not realistic it d entirely defeats the purpose of the mod so I'm not gonna do that I mean th okay so these NPCs you DRG base, which my, the target distance is that, but it spawns at that. So if you have like that, which it spawns on that, yeah, a lot of that, doesn't it? So it will spawn at this point. So at the second you spawn him in, you can be across the map. He can be in the corner of the map, you can be in the other corner of the map. He'll still find you. But just to make it a little bit fair, I'm putting it in right there. Okay, so let's see how NPCs react to Chicken Ghost. Just put him in the center. I mean, there's cryo feed, which is that. They played it. I played it and didn't get very far. Because they only played it to play on co op, which needed Hamachi. So then I downloaded that. And then never played it again. gone just completely gone you see how there's a head there there ain't one there okay where where where's chicken ghost where what oh they know where they where he is but they but chicken ghost doesn't know what's gonna happen chicken is gonna get stuck you know cuz he's like on the other side of this building he's just stuck there so I guess moving on to the next one moving on to long course all right so this is long course he's a friendly boy if you don't spawn this one in now he won't attack you even if I have a normal players off he, he's a good boy he protects you like if I spawn a hostile thing Oh, yeah, sure, assassin, assassin. Yep, just like that. Protector of humanity, right there. But when you, he's a, he's a friendly boy. Unless you attack him, then he's not. He'll constantly kill you unless you despawn him. So if I just like. If he's gonna chase me, he's fast. I don't know if Long Course has a finishing move or a fatality. Oh, there he is. I think it doesn't. Now, when, when you spawn him in, you'll hear 
crackling bones. Now, uh, he spawned. Hold on. You spawn with about 10,500 health. Which is good for a protector. And not good for the hostiles. Yeah, sure, I'll spawn the assassins. See how how it plays out. Well, my ears are completely gone. Thank you for that. Where is he going? Oh, he's only chasing one. are just dead at this point. So are my frames. But because I'm a console player, I don't really notice it. Because console is most likely stuck on 30 frames. Or, you know, when it's 17 frames, yeah, we'll notice it. All I can see is a gunfire. was on fair fight all right so that's that I mean, they didn't kill long course but they did damage it a lot was it trying to get someone or something No, I just wanted it out. Couldn't see it. I mean, it carbine soldier. Is there any difference? Oh, that map. Oh, this map is just weird when I do that. I mean, it walks around. Yo, yeah, that one's a health ball. so I can get some more friends back because friends are always nice yeah sure 40 I'll just spawn in the regular carbine alright so now we're doing the regular carbine because the assassins are that you know well they were over there so let's just see how this plays out. Uh, of course, because he instantly started shooting, I'm um, going to become hostile. To them. Okay, well, can we just all agree that those aren't meant to bend? The bones, those aren't meant to bend. Okay, well, fast and it's fast. So that's that. You can hear the crackling, the spawns of, you know, 10,500 HP, which is good. And now it's just weapons laying all over the floor. Alright, moving on to Big Charlie. You should call it Big Charles, but now I know it's Big Charlie. Looks like some Momo character or something. It looks like a cow. And then chicken or bird. And makes out this weird laughter. Now it's friendly. It's actually friendly. It's a good boy. It spawns about 2,500 HP. 
Now if I just let it be free, it won't attack me. It only wants to be free. Because it escaped from the facility or some sort. I don't know. There's a video explaining it better than I could ever. So this is it. It has some hair. Mostly. Alright. So as you can see, it's friendly until I start attacking it. You gonna attack me or you're just gonna... Yeah, it's, it will attack me. You can stomp on me or just, you know, just kill me like that. Yeah, I guess it has a big hitbox, so... If I just like go right here, yeah, so we get stuck on basically the building. We'll get stuck on some things. Just like all of these. Now let's see how it reacts to some NPCs. All right, welcome back, I guess. And last time I think we killed it because. It's just like that. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna kill it again. I'm gonna kill it anyways. I'm big charge would she killed it if hitbox is probably done. I didn't really explain who Trevor Henderson is. Trevor, Trevor Henderson is this person who draws these creatures into these creepy pictures, I guess. So he, he draws these creatures, deal with it. Now some of them went viral, like Bridgeworm, Bridgeworm, Cartoon Cat, and Siren Head. Mostly Siren Head. So we did everything but Siren Head. Which I'll just spawn in Siren Head, so, you know, he's tall. And we'll let out this noise. It comes from his feet, because, you know, that's a, that's your height. Yeah, he has spawns with about 10,000 health. It is killable. Siren Head is about 40 feet tall. The only metal part of his body is actually the sirens most of most of everything is shootable maybe even the wires yup the wires as well so siren head will eat his prey to mimic their voices and to their morph prey siren head is a skilled hunter now he is fast, but not the best. But kind of fast, I guess. Mm. Mm. Yeah, as you can see, his head just turned. You'll get stuck on that pole. here so you can see the animation because he doesn't have any other he doesn't have any other thing except for his fatality or finishing move don't know what it's called
guy who explains these creatures he also explained this one there's two parts to it I'll leave it I'll, I'll also leave it in the description but some parts might be cut out like of the description like maybe the creatures or something oh that was my footsteps The siren head was the siren. The sound effect was not made by the creator. Of the siren head. It's just the uh, video. The video was this creepy broken siren in Chicago. It was just it wasn't broken. It was just made like it was sound. It sounded like that. So you know, it triggers a flight or a fight senses. It makes it so. Makes, it makes it so, you know, it would trigger the flight so it can, can get inside a building faster or something. That's, that, that's what I've been told. He can't fit inside there. Oh, never mind, he can. Alright. a siren on his head. That's the name, Siren Head. I don't know what else to put. Thanks for watching, I guess. I mean, I, if you have Discord, you can chat to me. But, you gotta be in the server, because apparently, I mean, you can either be friends or just have to be in the server to actually chat with somebody. So, I guess that's... Oh, Alright. So, I'm gonna leave a Discord server in the description that you can join, and then you can chat to me. I mean, we host events inside there. It's up to say, it's SCP related. Mostly SCP Laboratory. Which is a fun game, but it crashes a lot. Okay, so the videos will be in the side description, Discord in the description, creatures in the description, basically everything in the description. Most of the links, the Discord, the videos that explain these creatures better, and then th this map maybe, I don't know. Yeah, sure, I'll leave this map in, and the creature pack. All of those will be in the description. So, thank you for watching, I guess, um, I guess, if you find these creatures, run. For as long as you can, because they will catch up. They always do.